Yo, what's going on, Planet S1 family? It's your main man, JD. Thank you for tuning in. This is Drinks with JD. My main man, man. What up, what up, bro? How you doing, man? I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, Thank you so on. much for sitting down with us here on yeah, Drinks with JD. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you for inviting us to your place. Um, can you tell us uh, where we are right now? We're uh, at Blackwood Studios. Okay, yeah, okay. Blackwood Studios. We're in Studio A right now. Okay, and this is yeah. your spot. Yeah, this is my spot. Yeah. Okay, so Blackway Studios. Yeah. Right? Okay, yeah, no doubt, man. Thanks yeah. again for for inviting us. Of here. course, definitely, bro. Of course. Um, so since it's our first time sitting down again, mm -hmm. uh, can you please uh, let the Planet S O N audience know who you are, mm -hmm. where you're from, and what you do? All right. <laughs> okay. I'm Manny Fresco. Um, I am a recording engineer out of San Diego, obviously, born and raised, and uh, yeah, I mean, this is what I do. I do this for fun, I do this for a living, and I do this, you know, no for the vibes. I'm okay, <laughs> no, 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 no. I feel you, I feel you. <laughs> yes. All right, man. Um, so, you know how you just mentioned how you were born and raised in San Diego, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, where specifically were you born and raised within the county? Okay, so I was actually born in uh, La Mesa, Okay. I mean, over at Grossman Hospital, for anybody who knows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that, that's where I was born, and uh, I I grew up for a little while over in Spring Valley, uh -huh. and then I moved over to Alpine when I was probably about six or seven, and I've been there since. Oh wow, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. So you you're just moving around uh, just, the county? Yeah, just, just a little bit. You know, I just went from you know point A to point B. Yeah. you know that kind of thing. What was your favorite city to live in? Um, I mean, man, I mean, I've been in Alpine since I, since I was like seven. So okay. I mean, I love Alpine. It's peaceful. You know, wow. it's peaceful out there. Nobody bothers me. You know, I'm just minding my business. You know, I just do what I want to do out there, and that's it. You know, no doubt, no yeah. doubt. And that's cool because um, right now, how we're we're talking before we started the interview, mm -hmm. how uh, sometimes San Diegans we feel like Alpine is so far away. Yeah, it's you fun know? it's funny because that's part eighty percent of the people that I know. Oh, Alpine is so far. Alpine is so far. But I mean, really, when you think about it, everything in San Diego is like thirty minutes from from yeah. each other. You know, like you can go from San Diego to Alpine, and it's about thirty minutes. Once there's traffic, yeah, add a couple minutes here and there, but. Alpine isn't far. Yeah, you know? no, 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 you know, no. It's yeah. No, yeah, no. Also, I guess uh, I just want to mention. Um, I actually started noticing that uh, when my sister, when she mm -hmm. she moved to Ramona, mm -hmm. so I was like, oh, it's really not that far. Mm -hmm. You know that. I mean, thinking yeah. about it, it's kind of far mm -hmm. or something. But yeah, I don't know. I think I think what it drive. is is that it, it just feels far because nobody goes that way. Exactly. You feel me? Like everybody passes through National City. Everybody passes through Spring Valley. Everybody passes through you know downtown. Yeah. So it's like all of it feels pretty close. Exactly. But Alpine, it's like, okay, you have to, instead of going from point, you know, like doing this, uh -huh. you have to do this. Yeah, exactly, you know? <laughs> exactly, exactly. No, no, yeah. no, man. Okay, so since you moved around the city, mm -hmm. um, just for, I guess, the San Diego, so uh, we, could, we could know you a little bit better. Mm -hmm. um, can you please let us know uh, what schools you went to growing up? <laughs> <laughs> um, let me see. So... I mean, when it came to, to elementary school, my, you know, my farthest memory, I would say, uh, I went to Boulder Oaks Elementary. That was, you know, me as a child. And then from there, I went over to Joe McQueen Middle School that's, you know, still in Alpine. Uh, then I got into a little bit of trouble. I went to, I went to a couple little, uh, you know, schools for bad kids. Okay. Um, once I got into high school, I went to Granite Hills High School in Oklahoma City, wow. which is where we're at right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and then uh, I went over to Queen Mac College. And that's actually where I where I started getting my education on music. Well, technically, I started in high school. You know, I took a couple of piano classes in choir. You know, okay, okay. You know, worked on the pipes a little bit. That's cool, man. That's <laughs> but, cool. But um, yeah. But I mean, I, I got more focused in, into into music over at Queen Mac College, and so yeah. That's yeah, that, 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 that's, pretty, that's basically my background. You know? That's cool, man. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. Now, well, I guess before we get into the music side, mm -hmm. um, did you ever want to pursue something else other than music? Honestly, no. Oh, wow. I mean, since I, I've been I've been very keen on music since I was about 11. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you knew that at 11, you, you were interested in music? At 11, uh, it's not it's not that I was like, I want to do music. But at 11, I was rapping with my friends. I was okay. freestyling. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah, that, yeah. that's what, that's what, how it all started. Okay. And, it, you know, like, the friends that I had, they had older brothers that were, you know, recording songs. Mm -hmm. And I remember they would show us their, you know, their mixtape or whatever, and we were just thought it was the coolest thing. Like wow. it's like, how do you even do this? Yes, like yes, what? Yes. So crazy. Um, and so yeah, I was interested, but I just didn't know I want to be doing music. Yeah. You know, yeah. So mm -hmm. that, that's that's kind of like the where it all started. Where it all started. Yeah, okay. that little, that, yeah, exactly. Okay, that. okay. That's where the seed planted. No doubt, no doubt. Yeah. Now, um, 
what made you want to stick to the engineering side of music instead of like different other aspects of it? <laughs> so what made me want to stick to the engineering side? I would say I'm patient. Okay. I'm very patient um, and I'm very critical, at least with myself. Yeah. So when it came to recording stuff, nobody else wanted to do it. Mm. <laughs> you know, nobody else wanted to do it. So wow. it's like, oh, Manny, can you do it? Yeah, sure, I'll do it. You know, so I would do it for a couple hours here and there. And I would do it every couple of days here and there. And then that turned into, you know, more of a regular thing. Yeah. And then eventually it became, oh, you should go record with Manny. He knows what he's doing, even though I only knew how to hit record. Yeah, <laughs> <Fair> <laughs> <You enough. know? laughs> yeah but you started building your skills. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So that's really what happened. I just started building my skills within, wow. like, you know. It wasn't necessarily that I decided I'm going to be an engineer. Yeah. It's just more like, yeah, like I have no problem doing that. I'll, you know, sure, no problem. But um, I think what eventually happened was I, I have a very, very, um, what do you call it? I have a very approachable personality. Okay, yeah. I'm very like, hey, what's up? You know, I talk to everyone, no problem and all that. And so, you know, being that way, I feel like when it came to music, I didn't want people looking at me all the time. Mm. Like, I, I already talked to too many people. I don't want people, like, coming up to me like, oh, you're Manny. Like, you know, as an artist, that's what you develop. You develop sure. your skill set where you can gain some sort of fandom, mm -hmm. you know? And so I feel like I just didn't want to do that. I didn't okay. want limelight, per okay. se, you know? So I was like, I can be an engineer. An engineer, you're in the background. That's more about, you know, the people that know you are people that, like... You know, it's like, think of like Dr. Dre. For sure. You know, I mean, Dr. Dre, he's already like an artist and everything established and whatnot, but like, he's a producer. Exactly. So the people that should know Dr. Dre are like Eminem, mm -hmm. Jay-Z, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like, it's like the, the important people know who Dr. Dre is. Exactly. You get what exactly, I'm saying? Exactly. So, yeah. So it's kind of like that, you know? Okay, okay. Like, so I kind of put myself into that position. It's like, I don't want everyone in the world to know me. Mm -hmm. I just want the people that matter to know me. That's what I'm talking about, man. You know? That's so like, that's kind of like what I put myself in a mindset of. So that I way, you know, I no, can no. become an engineer. That's cool. That's what I'm talking about. And uh, that kind of reminds me a little bit about, um, do you know uh, Pharrell? Uh, yeah. Pharrell Williams? Mm -hmm. um, he has a partner in his group, the Neptunes, or mm -hmm. NERD, I guess right. I could say, mm -hmm. or the Neptunes. Yeah. And uh, he kind of, he's also a producer slash engineer slash mm -hmm. beat maker slash all right. that. Mm -hmm. And uh, he kind of plays the background and like nobody knows who he is. Right. And everybody knows who Pharrell is. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, and, and uh, but at the same time, Pharrell, he does the same thing mm -hmm. as his partner, yeah. but he also likes likes the limelight as well. Right. Like you were just talking yeah. about how... Yeah, and, and another, another great example would be uh, Billie Eilish. Okay. Everyone knows Billie Eilish. Of course. Not a lot of people know her brother. Mm -hmm. Even though she does mention him pretty often and whatnot, she has a brother named Phineas. Yeah. Phineas is an amazing producer. Amazing yeah. producer. And so he's in the background just making the music. Yeah, he drops his own stuff too, but mm -hmm. he's more just, you know... I'm playing just, the background. I'm in the background. Okay, yeah, you know. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, so like for me, I think that's the coolest thing ever. Just kind of being behind the scenes, not yeah. having to worry about going to Walmart. Exactly, <laughs> you know? exactly, exactly. Like, yo, that's Manny yeah, right there. Exactly, yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. Now, um, right now you're mentioning certain people, right? Mm -hmm. And well, we were just talking about like Dr. Dre, right. Pharrell, and yeah. also Billy Idol's yeah. brother. Um, what engineers have inspired you? What engineers have inspired me? Um, I think one of the most popular engineers at the moment that, uh, that I think is really talented and just he's goading a lot of people okay. is um, Alex Tomei. Okay. Alex Tomei is an amazing engineer. He's, he's, uh, he's specifically Young Thug's engineer, I believe. Mm. And um, yeah, he just does great work. His yeah. mixing is great. Like, he just knows how to work the low end really well. He know, he knows how to he knows how to really mix a record well. Uh -huh. So Alex Tomei is someone that I think is someone is someone that I really look at like okay you're dope. You yeah. know? Like that's um, the guy. Who else? Uh, I would what about growing up? Growing up, um, honestly, the thing is I don't really know too many engineers okay, like okay. that. Like I mean I, I know of engineers like oh, okay that's an engineer that's an engineer but you know they they obviously aren't as popular as yes. like, producers you know yes. per se. Like I could tell you producers. Of course. Yeah, but and again that's why I like the engineer aspect yeah. because it's like. How many engineers do we really know? No, you know? No, 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 exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, so as far as engineers, I think Alex, I think Alex Tomei is probably one of the only ones that I can consider at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, just because he's just all over the place doing all mm -hmm. kinds of crazy stuff. That's cool, man. That's yeah. cool. Now, I guess before we dive into mm -hmm. that aspect or of what you do, yeah. um, can you uh, tell us a little bit about, let's say, growing up, right? Mm -hmm. You know how you mentioned how when you were 11, mm -hmm. you know, that bug yeah. got you, yeah. right? And um, so did you ever try to rap? Did you ever try to like, 
do all that or, yeah. or maybe make beats at yeah. the same time yeah so um i started with rapping yeah yeah i started with rapping um and that that was that was fun yeah it was fun freestyling trying to come up with bars <laughs> and trying you know i thought i was the coolest kid ever for you know coming up with you know abc you know for sure abc raps yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know yeah. what i mean but uh yeah eventually uh i developed that skill a little bit um at the moment, I guess you could say I do I do music, but I mean I really do music for myself. Yeah. I don't really do music to like put out and like check out my music. It's more like, you know, it's it's the satisfaction of like, all right, cool, I made a cool song, yeah. like you know, let out a little bit of feelings and whatnot, and just you know, I'm cool, you know. Okay, no doubt. Yeah, but um, yeah, I mean overall, like you know, I definitely you know, yeah, I'll I'll put you know, I mean the thing is that like I feel as an engineer or even as a producer or as a songwriter or anything like if you're helping someone with their music, mm -hmm. you should know how to do it yourself. Yeah. You know, so it's like, I should know how to do it myself. No, 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 so yeah, so that's how, you know, I, that's how I, uh, what do you call it? Keep the, the blade sharp. Okay. <laughs> exactly, know? exactly, okay. Yeah. Now, um, growing up, uh, did you, or how about this? When you mentioned to your parents, mm -hmm. right? Or your friends or your family members, mm -hmm. like, hey, you know, I wanna, I wanna be a music engineer. You know, did, were they supportive or did they encourage they, you? They were. Yeah. They were because I was a badass little kid. Okay, okay. okay. You know, I was always out in the streets, you know, running around just, you know, being a dumbass kid. Okay. Um, so as soon as I saw an interest in music, they kind of, oh, Pushed. you want to do music, Manny? Go ahead, do music. You wow. know, like, I remember one of my, one of my aunts, uh, she gave me, like, her whole speaker system. Wow. <laughs> she was like, here, Manny, have, like, it, like, I mean, it helped at that moment because I didn't have speakers or anything. So she gave me, like, this, like, big, you know, like, the old speaker system with the receiver? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for she sure. gave me that. And so I was like, okay, I plugged it into an aux, with an aux to the computer. And that's yeah. how I was, like, you know, making music. Um, that's cool, man. Yeah, that's cool. so, like, yeah, my aunt helped me with that. Um, my parents, they had, like, this little coffee can thing with yeah. a bunch of change in it. And they took me to Walmart to go, like, put it in the thing. And, yeah. you know, it was, like, a couple hundred bucks. And that's how I bought my first, like, MIDI controller, wow. like, my keyboard. So, like, there there's definitely has been plenty of support, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's the, cool, yeah, man. Yeah, the support's for sure. It's been there, like, yeah. yeah so, and are they proud of you? I mean, to see, I mean, how you've grown. You got, you got your own studio from here yeah. to there, mm -hmm. and um, just, I mean, to see your growth. Like, yeah, what do I they mean, say? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah I, I would hope they're proud of me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. yeah uh, I mean, I work a lot. You know, I'm always for here. Sure. I'm always busy. Um, but anytime that I have a chance to talk to, you know, either my parents or any like my family members. They definitely try to throw out that they're proud of me and yeah. what I'm doing. And it, it's a cool feeling, you know, yeah. like sometimes sometimes I'll be just sitting there and I'll just be kind of in disbelief. Like, this is my place. This is my place. Yeah. This is really what I do. Yeah. Like, I I don't have a nine to five. No, you no, know? No, like, no. like this is it. This like, is my this company. Is it. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's crazy. You that's know? Like, cool, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, you should you should feel proud of yourself. Yeah. That's yeah. an accomplishment. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, I mean, it definitely I guess it's just like that reality check sometimes, yeah. you know, like it's like exactly exactly that's cool <laughs> yeah exactly i mean because you you uh you do what you love right yeah, yeah so that's that's cool yeah definitely yeah so you mentioned earlier how mm -hmm. you went to Cuyamaca college yeah right mm -hmm. for the music engineering stuff. right um did you specifically look for a school program to help you with uh, music engineering honestly yeah i was looking around for a little bit i had like once I was almost done with high school, I, you know, I started looking into like schools for music mm -hmm. and, you know, I looked at ones like, uh, there was Studio West, there was this other one called Full Sail, Full Sail yeah. which is a very popular of one, course, you know, uh, I was definitely willing to make the jump and move over to Florida to do that, you yeah, know, yeah. <laughs> but, um, uh, then I saw that, uh, that my local, the local college here, Queen Maca College, um, they had a program for music yeah. and so I was like, oh, well, that's cool. Like, you know, like. I don't have to pay because the government's going to take care of that yeah, because, you know, yeah, yeah. all the, you know, grants and all that stuff, you know? And so, yeah, yeah. so I went over to Queen Macca, ended up meeting some of the most amazing professors I've ever had ever in my life. Wow. Um, I did horrible in general ed. Okay. You know, I did horrible with math, English, all that stuff. Like, Cause that's not what you wanted to do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I did horrible with that stuff. And, uh, when it came to the music classes, I was just, I was in there like swimwear. I was just, wow. you know, like I was, yeah, I, yeah, 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 dude, I had, I had an amazing time and like I said the teachers were phenomenal they knew how to really instruct the class they knew how to work with with us you know um they let us use the studios obviously that they have there yeah um yeah I mean it, it was a really good time and it was really cool I didn't graduate okay, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't graduate but that's only because uh, I had opened the studio and I just started working here uh -huh. and yeah I mean okay but I mean you know I feel like as a, as a little reference point as a little like you know 
something I should throw out there is that I feel like school is really, really important. Okay. And I feel like everything that I learned there helped me get what I have now. Okay. Um, but that doesn't mean that you have to go to school. Okay. You know? I guess um, to elaborate, I guess for me, mm -hmm. about what you're saying, um, do you think that it at least taught you like the 101 of like, okay, I got to have this, I got to have that. Yeah. And, I, I, and that's what will help me at least establish or give me a foundation right. for what I want to exactly, do. Exactly, yeah. Okay, like you don't technically, you don't need the piece of paper right. when yeah. you could just go ahead yeah. and do it. Now, you know, and... You know, if my professors hear this, they yeah. probably might get a little upset <laughs> with me for it. But, okay. you know, I definitely feel that, like, that you don't need to go to school in order to pursue what you what you love, okay. what you want to do. I don't think you need school as long as you know how to use Google, as long as you know how to educate yourself. Exactly. But, you know, with school, you also learn about networking. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of the people that I met through that school... Mm -hmm. Is, are the reason that I'm here now. Wow. You know, okay, like, yeah. just because I met this person that did this. I mean, literally, the person that I met that helped me with first opening the studio, I met yeah. there. Wow. You know, like, I met, not there, but I met through someone there. And, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 you, you, of course. And that that's my point. Yeah, it's, then it's, it's the network. It's the network, yeah. exactly. Okay. So, um, yeah, do I feel school's important? I feel like it's incredibly important, but I also feel it's more important to just be able to educate yourself. Of course, of course. Um, yeah, I mean, no doubt, no yeah. Doubt. Now, um, well, you know how you just mentioned mm -hmm. how you're, you started your studio. Mm -hmm. Can you uh, tell us a little bit about that? Can you take us like step by step of how it happened? Okay, so how it happened yeah. opening the studio. So, all right, it's a yeah. pretty, it's a pretty long story. Okay, okay. I'll, 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 try, I'll try to cut through. I'll try to cut through. Uh -huh, it. Fair enough. Fair enough. So when I was about fifteen or sixteen. I was already super in depth with music. Like I wanted to be doing music. At that time I was still making my own music. Yeah. I was doing reggaeton. There was no one out here who did reggaeton. Oh, wow. No one. Like yeah. I was like, who do I go to? Yeah. You know? I ended up um, finding a studio that uh, that, you know, they, they had it in their description that they work with that kind of music and yeah. I was like, that's a lead, I'll go for it, you know? So I had my mom drop me off at that studio. I went inside I remember they had dogs, they were trapping. Yeah. You know, I went into the back room where they had the studio. Homeboy had like a, you know, like at this time weed was still legal. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And so I had homeboy with like two big ass bags wow. of weed, and like I was, I, I'm 16. I'm like, oh man, this is the trap. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. like I was like low key nervous, you yeah, know, but yeah. I was like, okay, well it's fine, you know. And then I saw he had a gun, and then I was Whoa. like, oh damn, like, hmm. yeah, okay, well this is a studio, this is music, whatever. I think that's how it works. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so fast forward to me in college okay the engineer the owner of that studio we had a piano class together okay and i looked at him and i he was familiar to me like i was like i know oh that's that guy you know like i remember him uh -huh. but i didn't talk to him or anything because i was like you know whatever i'm doing my own thing now yeah but he came up to me and he was like hey you're manny right and i was like oh yeah, yeah. like you, like, you know, know me yeah yeah, yeah, like, yeah well what's up how you been born again christian oh wow so he totally flipped his entire life around wow like he stopped doing everything he was doing you know and all that yeah and he you know he was changing his life for what for he feels sure, is better for, for sure, him and yeah. you know good for him for that i'm exactly. super super happy for him for that yeah. super happy for him no doubt no. yeah. <laughs> yeah that's all hey god is good god yeah. is good for changing yeah. him up. Yeah. yeah so yeah so um yeah so he started you know doing this thing and like he started doing a lot better mm -hmm. and we ended up just being friends there at school mm -hmm. so we started doing projects together that's so cool man so we had a, a project where we had to record a band. He knew a band. So we did that project together. Um, eventually, he wanted to dedicate himself a little more to church. Yeah. So he had me take over recording the band. So I started doing that. I got really close with the lead, uh, the lead of the band, the guitar player. And um, one of his really good friends had an office space. Mm -hmm. And this maybe a couple of years after you know we're still working together and whatnot um his friend messages me and he says hey i'm looking for somebody to take over this lease it's an office that we were using for like some movie stuff and whatnot yeah do you want to take it i was like yeah yeah why not yeah that's cool yeah 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 <laughs> and so um yeah so so that's how i ended up getting into that space i ended up uh taking over that lease with a with a really good friend of mine named doble mm -hmm. And um, 
yeah, so you know, we started there. You know, we, we would sleep on the floor. Yeah. You know, he uh, <laughs> we were broke at that time. We yeah. were super broke. So Dona worked at a pizzeria. Okay. And so he would bring pizzas every night. Wow. And so, you know, we would just be recording and just eating pizza like every day. And we did that for like, I want to say at least eight months. That's amazing, man. Yeah. That's amazing. To, to chase the dream. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To, to be on the grind, chase the dream, mm-hmm. you got to start at the bottom. Look at you guys. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So that's basically how it got to, you know, from nothing to having a studio. Yeah. You know, eventually, Doble, you know, he, he started working on himself and he started, you know, figuring things out for, you know, for himself, for his life. Yeah. And I just kind of kept going, you know. That's cool. Man. I stayed consistent. I kept working at tor- working towards this. And, uh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And then just little by little started building it up. Yeah. And then here we are. And then here we are today. That's yeah. awesome, man. That's awesome. You should, you should feel very proud of yourself. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm, I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself. But I'm, I'm also really grateful. You know, I'm, I'm grateful for for everybody who's been a part of that the journey. blessings yeah by yeah, all means yeah. because literally like that's how life works exactly. and it's crazy it's crazy how life works that's because amazing. it's it's literally just been through connections and just meeting people that i've managed to develop everything to what it is today of course that's awesome man that's awesome yeah. all right so um let's i guess dive in a little bit into the the um into your craft okay right? so what's the toughest part of being a music engineer the toughest part of being a music engineer so I would say the most difficult part would probably be, hmm, that's actually a really good question. I want to say personalities. Okay. Personalities. And that's only because I'm, I'm very good with people, obviously. Mm-hmm. I mentioned that before. Mm-hmm. But every once in a while, you do get someone who can be a little more stubborn, mm-hmm. a little more my way or the highway which is okay for the most part but the thing is you're going into a field of creativity if you're hiring someone to do something with you Mm -hmm. you're hiring them to do something with you exactly you know you could hire them to do it for you but if that's the case do it yourself Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know like um it's it's just a really tricky area you know and so like sometimes people will come in and they want something exactly like this Mm -hmm. and as much as you tell them that might be a bad idea it'll probably be better like this they're like no and okay you know um so i've learned you know pretty quickly that you know in order to work with people is you have to work with them Mm -hmm. you know if they come in and they have a very you know strong personality and they have a certain type of way of doing things let them work the way they want to work Mm -hmm. and as you know whenever they decide to ask you for an opinion or hey what do you think of this that's where you can kind of step in and see how far you can take it Mm -hmm. so for me it comes off a lot easier because again i'm good with people Mm -hmm. so i can gravitate i can move and i can maneuver however i need to in order to work with that person to get whatever needs to get done Mm -hmm. but i can definitely see that see that being a difficult thing for engineers to do Mm -hmm. is how do i work with this person exactly exactly. like oh, they're asking this, or oh, they don't want to do this, they don't want to listen to that. Mm -hmm. You know, learning how to maneuver and work with people is probably one of the most difficult things. And that's not just with engineering, I feel like that's with anything. For sure. You're right, you're right, you're right. And especially, like, let's say with your craft, right? Like, um, um, I'm guessing that you have, let's say, certain presets or certain things that you like to do. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, I mean, by all means, I have, like, my, my templates that I've built. You know, so I ha- yeah, I have templates that, you know, for, for vocals, templates for bands, yeah. like just depending on what I'm working with. Um, when it comes to that, I would say the hardest thing is maybe set up. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, uh, and that being like, let's say I'm working with a, with a band and, you know, they have a drummer. Mm-hmm. So what sound am I going for? What are their, what is, what do their drums sound like? Exactly, exactly. You know, like. I mean, that can, I mean, at the end of the day, it's all about opinion, really. Yeah. It's all opinion. It's all perspective. You know, it's, it's a, it's an art. And, and also, well, to speak on that art, you know, it's, it's, uh, you're also, what you're doing, it's also an important part right. to what they're doing because they're, what they're doing to say they're a singer or a rapper, mm-hmm. right? Uh, that's a part of the art, yeah. but your art, mm-hmm. it's also a, an important aspect, right? you know, so you're just blending it in. However, mm-hmm. um, you guys are both artists, you right. know what I'm saying? No matter how you paint, right. whether you paint with, with, with yeah. your vocals mm-hmm. or you know, you do the engineering right. side, mm-hmm. no matter how you do it, yeah. you know, you're just blending your art together. Yeah, it's a collaborative effort. Exactly, mm-hmm. exactly. And that's what people need to understand. Right, right? exactly, yeah. yeah. And sure. so, yeah, so that goes back to what I was saying before. It's like learning how to maneuver and work with people. For sure. Because when people have different personalities, you don't want to, you know, you yeah. don't want to clash. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You want to be able to work together. Yeah. You know? And as artists, I know for a fact that, um, let's say for me, I, 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 I kind of consider myself a, 
uh, mm-hmm. artists of the visual side, right, you know? right. and I know that uh, we could sometimes be sensitive. So mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. That's, yeah. A, that's a, definitely a huge yeah. thing. Also, is yeah. that artists def- like it's not necessarily the ego, but it's it's very easy to hurt the Thanks. ego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's very easy. So you yeah, have to be yeah, careful. Yeah. Like you can't just go and tell an artist, no, that sounds horrible. Yeah. Like no, like don't tell them that. Yeah. You know, instead of telling them how bad something like, tell, like them how to, tell them how to fix it. Exactly. Tell them what's wrong. That way they can learn. You yeah. know. Again, like what I said earlier about school, educate yeah. yourself. Exactly. You know, you want to educate yourself. You want to educate the people that are around you. Uh-huh. You want everybody to do better. Okay. Yeah. All right, man. So on your Instagram, mm-hmm. I noticed that you got upset when uh, the news reported that Kanye West fired his engineer after oversleeping because the engineer, he worked over 24 hours straight. Yeah. You know, <laughs> so um, the question is, do you feel that music engineers are underappreciated let me start off by saying that i love kanye oh, yeah. i think kanye is an amazing artist and a very very creative human being mm-hmm. i've always supported his music i've always been like yeah he's dope he's dope he's dope there's yeah. some stuff that i've done that he's done that i'm just like it's yeah. okay but overall i respect his creativity for sure when i saw that i was bugged out mm-hmm. i was i was i was I think I was more frustrated at the fact that I support him so mm-hmm. much. I know why he did that. Mm-hmm. I get why he did that. I don't think it's right though. Okay. You know, um, definitely as engineers, we work a lot. We work extensive hours and it definitely goes unnoticed because it's cleanup work. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's, you know, how many, you know, how many janitors do you know? How mm-hmm. many, you know, people cleaning the hotels after they're done, you know, like it's, it's clean up work, like, but they're don't. important. They're but very they're, important. But they're important. Yeah. They're essential. Exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Shout out COVID. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You know, you're they're you're Yeah, so, I mean, not to say that's the only thing that we do as engineers, mm-hmm. you know, but we definitely do a lot of cleanup work. We go and clean up all the vocals. We go and make sure everything is in pitch, on time, consistent. Mm-hmm. Uh, we make sure that dynamics are flowing smoothly we make sure that things are loud and quiet when they need to be um i mean we 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 have we have an important job you know and uh yeah i mean (laughs) kanye you eat shit bro that (laughs) that was rude man that was rude yeah for him to do that (laughs) especially i mean you work so hard exactly like i mean even like i mean there's there's a few days where i work 16 hours and i'm drained after i'm Mm -hmm. drained and it's like you, you got to keep in mind when you have like we have speakers in front of us all day mm-hmm. as engineers we have speakers just banging in front of us people always ask me manny why do you always have the, the volume so low mm-hmm. well because i'm in front of them all day exactly. you know like if i turn it up that's my ear it's not yours mm-hmm. you know like this is what i do like, exactly if i lose my, my my hearing i'm done you know yeah. so imagine doing that for whatever amount of hours let's say it was 16 hours mm-hmm. let's say it was 16 hours you're done you're tired yeah. by the 14th hour your ears are shot like exactly. you're done for the day yeah i mean you still need a rest you're still a human being exactly yeah. so throw rest into that you're gonna rest you're gonna need sleep exactly so the audacity yeah, yeah, <laughs> honestly yeah. that's just what it comes down for to sure. the audacity because it's like with any job at all mm-hmm. working that much is, is it's it, it's extensive and it's yeah. tiring no doubt. you know let 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 bro sleep. Yeah, yeah, let, let exactly. Sleep, exactly. Man. And appreciate the man. And appreciate like yeah. bro, like especially because you you had everybody on such a like crazy time crunch yeah. and just because of your creative ideas, and like nah, like bro, nobody has that much entitlement. Exactly. Like no one. You no. know, I don't care who you are. No doubt, no doubt. All right, so right now, how you were just uh, bigging up Kanye, right? Mm-hmm. Now I'm I'm pretty sure you have all these favorite uh, artists right. who are well who are just your favorite, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, do you have, let's say, or who are your top three artists who you want to work with? Top three artists that I want to work with, and like, is that local? Overall, everybody, Overall, the everyone, world, the world that I want to work with, that yeah. I would love to be in the studio with. Um, I would love to be in the studio with Timbaland. Oh wow! Yeah, Timbaland sure. is. Yeah, I think he's such a dope producer, and I, I feel like he he really changed the game with his production style. Mm-hmm. He really made something that defined him. Yeah. So when you hear Timbaland, you know Timbaland. Yeah. You know. I mean, who whoever used the baby on a beat? Right. <laughs> and exactly. I mean, I'm, to be completely honest, last night I was listening to Genuine, uh, The Bachelor. There you go. There you go. Which is Tim, like Timbaland's like first full production. Yep. I believe that was the first album ever produced by one person. Wow. You know, like yeah. I believe. Okay. Don't quote me on that. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> but Google it. Let, okay, Google okay. it in, in the comments. Let me know if that if that's what's up. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> but um. But yeah. So 
Timbaland, I think, is just an amazing producer. That's, That's somebody dope. I would love to be in the studio with. Yeah. Um, another person that uh, I would love to be in the studio with would probably be Don Omar. Oh, wow. Don Omar, yeah, for reggaeton sure. artist. The king of reggaeton. For sure, for sure. But <laughs> Don Omar is dope. He's dope. He's dope. That's cool. Yeah, That's yeah. Cool. I, I think, you know, I think he's, he's, he's yeah, a very he's cool individual that you know, I would like to be in the studio with. Um, who else? Hmm... I would love to be in the studio, honestly, with Billie Eilish. Okay. Yeah, I think Billie Eilish is yeah. dope. Like, I, I love the tone. I yeah. love the softness. I love the the, the distinct style she has. Yeah. Like, she's she's doing her thing. Her, you know, and her brother, Phineas, who I mentioned earlier. Yeah, I, th- I think they're dope. And I, I you know, yeah, I, I would love to be in the studio with them. And even just sit back and just like. Yeah, just watch. Yeah. Be a little fly on the wall. Yeah, right? definitely. Yeah, definitely. By cool. all means. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, man. Okay. Yeah. So for future clients, Mm -hmm. right? What advice can you give so they come prepared when working with you? Okay, so um, future, I'm assuming either being new or not new, right? Just anyone in the future. Mm -hmm. Um, It's always appreciated when you come with whatever you're gonna work with. If you're planning on me producing for you, Mm -hmm. okay, then that's fine, then let's go ahead and do that. Let's figure out what we're gonna do. But if you already have, let's say, Oh, you already have the beat in mind, or this and that, and blah blah blah. Try to bring stems. Try to bring stems, or an MP3, a WAV file, what you know, whatever you can. Try to bring it with you in the USB. Mm-hmm. If you can't for whatever reason, let me know. Say, hey, Manny, I'm gonna shoot you an email. Blah blah blah. This is that. Mm-hmm. Um, that's always part of, like the the main thing, you know. Uh, if you don't want to waste too much time in the studio, try to warm up on your way here. Okay. You know, like if you're if you're rapping, singing, whatever. Do some warm-ups. Get yourself ready to go. That way, when you get in, what are we working on? Yeah. Cool. Boom. Set it up. You're already ready to go. Boom. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So warm-ups always do phenomenal things. Oh, yeah. You know, like I've had people who come in without warming up, and we spend all day on the song. I've had other people who come in warmed up, and we do four songs in a couple hours. Wow. So oh, it, yeah. it really makes a difference, but it really depends on you know the person who's uh, coming in. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I've always been curious to ask an engineer. Mm-hmm. Um, have, is it rare or have you ever met somebody who's done their song in one take in one take yeah uh yes yeah okay. sometimes sometimes when people do like freestyle type songs okay. you know like um sometimes just to capture an emotion um but again that all has to do with warming up first okay you know because if you go in there and you know you just woke up in the morning you haven't even had your coffee yeah, yet or anything yeah. like that and you go and you try to do that you're gonna be like uh, you yeah, know, yeah 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 you're all sure. groggy you know for sure for sure <laughs> but yeah it's definitely happened that people come in and they'll just do something in one take and yeah i'm happy with that cool. it doesn't happen often yeah you know because a lot of times when people come to the studio they're trying to like make things perfect yeah and so when you make things perfect you're not going to get perfect in one take for sure you know? for sure yeah, usually we'll break things down. We'll do punch-ins and like, well, we like this part. Let's do this part again. Okay. Let's do this differently, you know. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I was always curious. Yeah. Just, mm-hmm. I just wanted to ask that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so how far do you want to take this? What's the ultimate goal? The ultimate goal for me? Yeah. I'm good. Okay. I'm good. Yeah, <laughs> I, honestly, like, I mean, yeah. whatever happens tomorrow, whether it be amazing or whatever, like, it's cool. Like. Yeah. Like I'm honestly, I'm ha- I'm happy with where I'm at right now. No, no. I'm very satisfied with where I'm at right now. I was very satisfied three years ago when I was where I was at. Yeah. I'll be happy with whatever I have a couple years from now. Honestly, mm-hmm. like I just like to make music. I like to have fun. Yeah. And I like you know people's company. That's what I'm talking <laughs> about, man. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay, so for the young mm-hmm. Manny Frescos out there, right, who who want to do the music engineering, um, what advice would you give them? Don't listen to anybody who tells you you suck. I sucked. I was horrible. Consistency is key. Do this every day. If you're making beats, make beats every single day. If you're recording, record every single day. Get better at it. Use YouTube. Go to school. Educate yourself. I cannot stress it enough. Having the education to do this stuff will take you leagues farther than anybody who has talent. No, no. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. All right, bro. So before we end this, um, can you let the Planet SON audience know how to reach you, how to find you? <laughs> you can try. Okay. okay. <laughs> you enough. can try to find me on Instagram at okay. Manny Fresco, M-A-N-N-Y-F-R-E-Z-K-O. Okay. Um, I will get back to you in three to five business months. <laughs> <laughs> um, aside from that, I mean, I do have a Twitter out there, but I mean, I'm not on Twitter. Yeah. Um, I have... 
YouTube. I don't get on YouTube like that. I have Facebook. I don't get on Facebook. Find me on Instagram. Okay. okay. Find me on Instagram. The website's blackwave.com, I think. Yeah. Um, Wait, what if they want to book you? If you want to book me, find me on Instagram. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. It's on the bio. Okay, it's okay. on the book now. Okay. You can see it. It's in big letters. Um, and yeah, I mean... You'll find you'll find all my links on the comment in the uh, comment section, the description, that stuff. You'll find it there. So, yeah. There you go. There you go. All right. Um, do you have any shout outs? Any shout outs? Huh. How long do I have? <laughs> <laughs> all right. No. Go ahead. Everybody. Okay. Go okay. Ahead. Um, I mean, yeah, there's plenty of people that I would love to shout out. Um, right. I'm I'm telling everyone right now. I'm sorry if I forgot you. Yeah. I love y'all to death. Y'all mean the world to me. I'm gonna try to remember everyone. Um, my boy Barba, love you to death, bro. Um, <laughs> um, damn, I'm, okay, all right, we're done. <laughs> no, all right. No, 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 no. Um, okay, so yeah, all right. Let me do a little reboot on that. Okay. Um, let me give a shout out to my boy Barba, love you to death, bro. Uh, my boy Doble, uh, what up, Tony? Exiel Soe, uh, Luna Caves, Silence. Uh, Trey Castro, Danny Rose, uh, Johnny Rayos, Ray. I mean, honestly, I could keep on going all day with the shout outs. I love all of you. You guys are all amazing people. Uh, shout out to my boy, Nick Hash, who made the shirt. There you go. Yeah, he's super dope. Amazing people. Um, yeah, and I mean, shout out to all the up and coming engineers and producers. You know, good luck to you guys. And let me know if you have any questions. There you go, my brother. There you go. <laughs> well, Manny, thank you so much for sitting down with of me course, here on uh, Drinks JD. I appreciate you. Thank yeah. you for inviting us here. Thank you for your time. Yeah. And uh, I appreciate you, bro. Thank you for having me. This yeah, is no dope. problem. Dope. No problem. Y'all need to fuck with this there guy. There you He's go. Dope. Thanks, He's man. Dope. <laughs> I'm appreciative, man. I'm appreciative. Well, here. How about let's, let's oh. end it with a cheer. Yeah. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Anyway, cheers. All right, my brother. There you go. <laughs>